How to make a restaurant food ordering website in Wix. Hello everyone, I'm Jason. The first thing you want to do once on Wix.com, you are going to select Get Started. And by the way, the reason why a lot of persons use Wix is because you can try it out for completely free as you don't need a credit card. So first thing we're going to do is tap on Get Started. And from here, you can choose to either sign up using Facebook or you can sign up using your Google account. Or you can simply type tap on email and you could type in your email address right here and create a password. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, all I want you to do is you're going to simply type in ordering. So you're going to type in ordering right there. Then from here, I want you to select food delivery services. After tapping on food delivery services, you are going to tap on next. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you can enter the name of your website or your restaurant better yet. So let me do that real quick. Then you are going to tap on next. After you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page. And these are the apps that are currently on your website. So as you can see, you'll be able to take orders on your site for pickup or delivery. And you can also create beautiful restaurant menus. And you'll also have online chat support as this will help to make customers feel better and you'll be able to offer them support. And also if you want to offer any form of catering or so on, so you like to do some booking, you could select booking right here and you can scroll down and you could tap on view more and you'll be able to view even more apps by scrolling down. So for example, if you want to sell any form of products or so on, you could select online store. And also if you want to add your Instagram feed, which I would recommend as that will help to build up your social status, you could do that also. And if you would like to add anything else, for example, video or so on, you could select that. But for now on, I'll simply tap on next. After tapping on next, from here, you can select go to dashboard. Once on the dashboard, what you're going to do next, right where you see add your business info, you're going to tap right there. And after doing that, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, you'll be able to change your business name if you want. And you can also add a logo. And by the way, if you don't have a logo, a good website to go on to create a logo is Canva. So you could quickly go on to canva.com. Once on canva.com, if you would like to create a logo, all you'll have to do is tap on the search bar and you could type in restaurant logo. So you could type in restaurant logo real quick. And you can see right here. By tapping on this, you will see numerous templates that you can quickly edit to create a beautiful logo for your new restaurant. As you can see here, just give it a few seconds to load up. You can see numerous logos that you can edit for completely free using Canva. Once you have edited your logo, you can add it right here. And you can also add a short description if you want. And you can also add the location of your restaurant right here. And you could scroll down and you could add your contact info, for example, your email, phone number and fax that customers can reach you by. And you could also edit your opening hours, whether you're open every day for 24 hours or not. You could select edit right here and change that. Once you're finished, after tapping on order settings, you're going to scroll down. And you can see location, so you can choose the location where they'll be picking up. So you'll simply scroll down and you can see ordering is off. All you'll have to do is toggle it on. And also, if you would like to edit it, you could tap on the pencil icon right there. And you can see customers can order online. Or if you would like customers can't order, your menu still show. You can select that, but we like the customers to be able to order online. And once you have selected order online, what you're going to need to do next, you're going to need to set up payment. 
so you are going to see where it says accept payments and you are going to tap on add payment method at the top and from here we'll be able to set up paypal or so on so we'll be able to accept payments from our customers so all you have to do now is scroll down and you can connect the different payment options so you could tap on connect and you could connect your paypal account or you could connect your cx pay and from there you'll also be able to accept credit and debit card once you are finished setting up different payment options, you are going to go over to the left hand menu again and you are going to tap on home. After tapping on home, you will be redirected to the dashboard and from here you are going to select create your menu. And now you'll be able to set up your menu. As you can see at the moment, this is an example of how a menu looks. So you can see the menu right here. If I were to tap on it, you can see the menu details. You can see how it looks right here. Let me tap on more. If I were to tap on it, you can see how the menu looks. You can see five starters. This is how it looks at the moment. So with Wix, it's easy for you to create beautiful menus. And you can see how it looks right there. All you would have to do is tap on the plus and from there you'll be able to add a new dish. And you can add your dishes or your different menu options. And you can set up the prices that you want. And you can also delete these old menus that come with the theme. All you have to do is tap on the three dots. Then from there you could select hide to remove it. And after you're finished with that, we'll simply tap on home again. Once you have tapped on home, what I want you to do from the left hand menu option right here, we're going to select restaurants. Then after selecting restaurants, you will see table reservations. You can tap on that. And you can see right here, take table reservations directly from your site and you'll be able to accept and manage reservations 24 7 from the wix mobile app or desktop and all you have to do is tap on get started once you have tapped on get started you'll be redirected to the table reservation dashboard and from there you'll be able to adjust it and you'll also be able to edit the app but unfortunately, I haven't set a location, so I can't do that at the moment. But with Wix, it's very straightforward and easy to do. The other thing that I would recommend you do, once you have done that, you're going to tap on Home again from the top left-hand corner. And now that you have set up the back end of your new website, I want you to set up your website appearance. So you are going to tap on Design Site in the top right-hand corner. And now we'll be able to edit how our website look. So once you have tapped on design site, you have two options. You can either let Wix create a site for you using their site builder. Or you can customize a design template. And for this example, we are going to be picking a template. So let's tap on pick a template. After you have tapped on pick a template, you can see that these two are considered the best match for the type of website that we want. But you can scroll down and if you see another one that you like, you can select it. But at the moment, I'm going to be selecting this one right here. So all you need to do is tap on edit site. At the moment, you can see this is how the site look. And I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option right where you see add elements. As if you were to tap on that plus, that will allow you to add, for example, if you want to add an image, you can add that to your store. All you have to do is tap on image and you'll be able to add an image. If you want to add a button, you can also find it in this section. So for example, if you would like to add your social, you could simply select social. Then you can see the social bar or you can add Facebook only if you want. So with this, you'll be able to add practically anything to your store. Another thing that I also want you to pay attention to is the third icon from the top left hand corner. 
as if you were to tap on that it will redirect you to the pages and menu and from here you can select any page that you would like to edit and also if in the future you would like to add a new page all you have to do is tap on add page to add a page and also to change any section on your Wix website is quite easy to do let's say for example I were to close out of the sidebar right there for example if I wanted to edit this section all you have to do is hover over it then you'll see quick edit and from there if you would like to change the picture if you would like to change the text anything you want to do you can see in the right hand column right here I have all of the changes so I can change the title if I want I can also change the button so with Wix it is quite easy to customize your website uh, that's all you have to do and once you're finished you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner and your website will be live hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe